Hey yo! Hey yo! Oh, I'm sorry. I went back to the wire. I, I, if you ain't seen the wire, then you don't understand. Hey yo! You know, Omar, what's up, homie? All right, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents. Hey, we got something we need to talk to you guys about. See this com company, com 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 company right here? It's called the Board of Governors for the Federal Reserve System. It's the Federal Reserve. Ladies and gentlemen, they are not part of the federal government, but they are called the Federal Reserve. They are the central bank for the United States. The central bank for the United States. Look at that. And they provide the nation with a safe, flexible, and stable monetary and financial system. Yay! Go Fed! Go! Okay. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we have a pladiclament. Under the new law, the money is issued to the central bank in return for government obligations, government contracts, bills of exchange, draft notes, trade acceptances, and bankers' acceptances. The, the money, pay attention, these are monies. They're bills of exchange. They're exchange instruments. Money is a medium of exchange. Shh. Pay attention! Money is a medium of exchange, so the banks receive this junk in return for this junk. The two pieces of junk are exchanged between the parties, i.e. money. The money between the parties will be worth 100 cents on the dollar because it is backed by you, 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 the credit of the nation. It will represent a mortgage on all of your homes and all of the property slaves are property too of all of the people. If you don't know that people are property, go back and read Dred Scott. United States Supreme Court case where they said people are property. People are property no matter what you do. Okay, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to pay attention because it is necessary that you pay attention. This, I was saying, hey, I need some information. They were saying, hey, we don't care. So I want to tell you what I did. Would you like to know what I did? Ladies and gentlemen, I wrote a paragraph. I'm going to finish it all up. I'm going to put, I think I put the second paragraph here. Hold on a second. No, I didn't put the second paragraph, so I'll put the second paragraph here. We're going to talk about second paragraph in a second. So the first paragraph, let me tell you what it says. This is the act. We put this section in here, the amendment. And we put the whole section, we do some edits because we don't need all them words because it only gives you 15,000 characters. We did it in less than 1,500 characters. National bank notes are legal tender. And I need to know how to utilize my note or drafts or bills of exchange or bankers acceptances as a deposit into a depository institution according to the rules prescribed by the treasury. I am not asking for legal advice or an opportunity to review your entire site for a regulation. Let's put that A. A yo. A yo. Sorry, Mario and Omar. Y'all just gotta. It, it's called the Wire, and it's a very, very unrecommended show for many of you. But it was called the Wire anyway. So if you would please provide the precise location. It would be greatly appreciated. I will expect such within the next 30 calendar days. Okay? Just as simple. They have 20 days. Ladies and gentlemen, then I put our conditional acceptance from our website. Because it's online. You are free to put the same conditional acceptance. It's an arbitration agreement, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, yo. Okay. So that was the first thing that was sent to these mother, I mean, these people, okay? So that's what you're going to do. Oh, by the way, always, this is what I do, void, opt out in that second line. Whew, the reason why I do that is because they got all kind of policies and procedures that they want you to follow. Now, you see this thing? Floyd, Floyer request. Man, I've been to Floyer. Ooh, wait, Floyer was a very difficult place to deal with. Then you go to Floyer request, and then what you got to do? is you gotta go make a request. Make a request, and after you go to make a request, see, make a request. And, and we don't want, we want request submit. 
you don't want to submit either. You're just going to do it electronically. This says, hey, you're going to a government website. This site ain't government. They, this ain't a government agency. It's a government instrumentality, okay? Yeah, they done played the instruments to the point they can't play it no more. Now, you don't want them to register. You want to click on sign in without registering, okay? And you see, click. I don't want to register. Hold on. Oh, I clicked on the wrong thing. I apologize. Let me unclick that. It says, check the status of a previously no uh, online profile. Click here if you want to do it without wedge doing. Okay, that's this right here. Now, wait, hold on. Need to pause y'all for a second, okay? One second. Okay, I'm back. I, I, I want to talk to the lazy people. Yeah, that, that means you. And you too. You no, 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 no. Don't you dare sit up there and take offense. It's all right to be lazy. It's all right to be lazy. Not want to do nothing for yourselves. It's all right. It's all right to give up when there ain't no reason to give up. It's all right. You've been conditioned. You'll sit there and you'll watch a movie for an hour and 89 minutes. That's over two hours. That's right. And you'll sit there and you'll watch the whole thing. You won't even get up to go to the restroom because you don't want to miss another scene. But when it comes to doing work for yourself, for writing letters, sending it out, you sit up there and you just let it just procrastinate and fester. And fester it does and it formulates into bacteria and disease and you just let it keep growing so to you lazy people who allow disease and stuff to fester get up off your lazy behind go to the federal reserve website sorry it's time to say bye bye go to the federal reserve website and do a FOIA request don't worry about having to do anything i'm gonna put the document up on the internet it's going to say the same thing. Don't worry about it saying the same thing. That means they're going to have to give us the same response. And we can use that to show how that administrative agency, yes, that's what they are. That's why they must comply with FOIA. FOIAs only apply to administrative agencies, ladies and gentlemen. Don't even worry about nobody claiming they exempt. If they're an administrative agency, they are compiled... That's right, I said compiled to respond to a FOIA request. Federal Reserve, that's why they have the form on their website, because they must respond. So let me show you what I did. My, 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 my thing is spinning, y'all. It's just spinning, got me going around in circles. Spinning fly high like a bird up in the sky. All right. I know this girl ain't got no melody. I'ma sing it because she can't sing. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, requested information. The information being requested is public information and one cannot be charged a fee or be taxed for access to such information, which you by law are required to maintain. You receive federal tax dollars in order to operate and function as an organization. And according to the United States Congress, the Federal Reserve note monies you receive are, uh, this is the, got to change that, A, R, M, A, E, M, M, A, are according to this standard. The money is issued to the bank in return for government obligation, bill of exchange, draft, notes, trade acceptance, and bank acceptances. The money shall be worth 100 cents on a dollar because it is backed by the credit of the nation. It will represent a mortgage on all the homes and all the other property of the people. Ladies and gentlemen, the money. What is the money? Hold on. What is the money? The money is bills of exchange, draft notes, bank acceptances, trade acceptances, and Federal Reserve notes. See, the money is issued to the bank in return. So that's a medium of exchange. As I said before, money is a medium of exchange. Don't focus on the words. Focus on the understanding. It will represent the mortgage on all the homes and all the property of all the people of the nation. People of the nation, not uh, in the nation, excuse me, not of the nation. People in the nation. That includes individuals who are not citizens. That includes individuals who were not born here. That includes individuals who are visiting here. People in the nation. 
ain't my fault. So when you take the currency out of circulation, this is me telling that to the Federal Reserve, then you may by law request a fee for services. See, as long as they're using Federal Reserve notes, they can't say a word. Remember, Federal Reserve notes is issued to them in return for government obligations. I'll be happy to send them a government obligation in a form of a draft note bill of exchange bankers acceptances. I am an unlicensed and unregulated banking institution as prescribed in law. See the March 1933 Act and also see, well, let's get rid of this C. Oh, CC. Okay. The Congressional Record of 73rd Congress, Session 1, March 1933, the Presidential Proclamation 2039, as well as the Amendment to the Federal Reserve Act, Section 401, Subsection 18, Paragraph 6, and subsequent amendments for clarification. As a banking institution, I am qualified as a Federal Reserve agent. That's right. As a banking institution, I am qualified as a Federal Reserve agent as defined by the aforementioned statutes, laws, codes. I am inquiring as to the procedure for banking institutions such as I am for the depositing of and or receiving as deposits, let's do this, notes, drafts, bills of exchange, bank acceptances, charity acceptances, and or other United States government contract obligations. I have the right to this information and you are the custodian of record for this information as identified by the act that I am hereby requesting access to such information which specifically, with specificity to my inquiry. Specifically regarding policies, procedures, application form, notices, addresses, contact personnel, examples, samples, templates. Thank you for your attention to this New Deal compliant request. Yay! And for the fee section you put, as noted above, you're the only one being required to document the location for the regulation, or you are only being required to document the location for the regulation associated with the March 1930. Oh, March 19th. Yeah, it does that. March 9th, 1933 Act and the Federal Reserve Act Amendment. And I am a banking institution as defined by presidential. It's supposed to be... Yeah, we'll put I am a banking institution. That's why you're exempt. <laughs> That's why you're exempt. All right, hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, I've already done all the work for you. Yes, you can use the exact same information because it's written that way. And all you got to do is paste. That's it. Now, notice this. I went all the way back to 1933. How do you get back to 1933? Well, you go up here and you just click, click until you can't click no more. And then you start going back on the dates to 1933. So March 9, 1933 till the present day. Those are the records I'm asking for. 89 years! worth of information now I click this box fee waiver requested yeah cuz ain't no way in the world I'm gonna sit up here and pay your fee I don't know it now watch this hold on tick tock oh uh, it, it was too long I waited too long okay all mama one mama P mama the mama at the mama one mama mama and bema mama five the code is correct. Uh, mid form. I'm in mid form. There you go. I'm in mid form. Request submitted successfully. All right. Got to go. No, I don't. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's make sure we get something taken care of. What I have to do is I have to go in mind my own business because I got a lot of work to do. I have a document that I'm creating for a young man um, because his loan servicing company sent him a notice that they're gonna foreclose in the end of August. Now he originally got his first foreclosure notice a year ago. After contacting me, we've been able to hold him off for about a year. Now I got one more letter that I'm putting together for the idiots because now we go to court. This is what, well, he's actually had to pay for two consults. So, uh, this is what, what is it? Uh, that is, and I'm actually doing documents for him, which is not part of the consult. SACOM, we're going to be helping people with documents um, in the near future.
we'll talk to you guys about that. But what's happening is, ladies and gentlemen, if we buy you time, then we can also request certain information. So what we'll be doing is putting together subpoena information for people. So if you're going to file a lawsuit, the first thing you're going to do is when you file the lawsuit, you're going to send out subpoenas. With the lawsuit, you're not going to wait months, days, years. You're going to do it all at once. And that's what SACOM is going to be there to help people with by pretty much the end of August. That's what we're going to be doing from now on. We're going to help people solely with mortgages. The reason for that is, ladies and gentlemen, because 80 million people are being foreclosed on starting this year. So we have a lot of people out there that we are going to try to help. And remember, we're doing things that nobody else is doing. We're bringing up points that nobody else is doing. Will I talk about everything that we're doing on video? No. Because what happens is we get the copycats who don't want to do the research, who just want to copy what we do, but they don't want to do the work behind it. You know, we did a document, uh, the contracts. We told everybody they had to make it their own. We even did our, uh, what do you call that? Our SAP packs. And individuals didn't change anything. They just used the exact same thing, exact same wording. They didn't make it their own. They just took it and just plagiarized. And so that's why we, we can't just give everybody all the information. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Give me a moment for this to be up. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Adios.